There are eight layers of paint that have to go on to Carl. Uh, one layer of um, etch primer, five layers of two component primer and two layers of anti-fouling. So we did the etch primer last week and now we have to start with the primer. It's a two component epoxy primer and putting it on was actually pretty smooth, there is no problems at all. It takes six hours to dry, like every coat takes six hours to dry until you can repaint. So we used the time in between to go to the beach and have a little picnic. Once we had two layers of primer on the boat, um, Ramon came to help me to put some epoxy over the welded uh, area so there would be uh, additionally covered so nothing, no water could come in. When you're painting the boat, you, you cannot use uh, the water on your boat because obviously as soon as you use the sink, the water is going to run over the freshly painted paint and it's going to ruin it. So, um, so I put little signs on, on the sinks that, you know, that we shouldn't use the water because you forget, you, you just forget. So we actually had to do our dishes off the boat on the grass with um, salt water and then pump some water into um, a jerry can and, and rinse it with it. Toby brought some um, zinc anodes from, from Germany that have um, aluminium arms, so they're specially made for aluminium hulls. And um, Ali, the welder, came back and welded them onto the boat. There have been four anodes before and now I have um, six. I have two additional ones uh, in, in the front, on the keels. It was a little bit crazy putting them on because uh, his wife, she, she had to hold the ground uh, to the boat. And, and I had to support the anode that he wanted to put onto the boat. And one time, uh, by accident, he hit me with the, the ele with this electrode, and I got this huge uh, electrical shock, and it actually blew me off the, the thing. And I was like puzzled for for about ten seconds, probably. But they're on now, and uh, they look pretty good. And I hope that they're going to protect the hull very well. Actually, it should have taken maybe three or four days to put on all the layers of paint, but um, <laughs> as it always is, you know, it, it was it was really dry lately. But now it just it just starts raining because it's close to raining season, so it rained a lot, and we did uh, we did have to postpone a couple of layers to to some later days. So I think all in all, it took probably a week to put the new paint on. So putting on the primer went really well and then we went to the anti-fouling and um, it's it's the only one component paint actually that, that we're putting on and I thought well you know there can't actually be anything happening with it. 
but when we when we put it on, it was really strange. Uh, the the anti fouling would um, produce like it looked like spider webs. First, we thought it was the roll that the roll was kind of dissolving in the paint. Um, but we tried different rolls. And we found out that it's actually not the rolls, but it's it's the paint itself that uh, once if you if you put it on and there's some wind coming that it produces like these spider webby thingies and um, that just get flown away by the wind. And well, as I said, we tried different rolls and we found out that the ones that best work were like these tiny rolls um, that we got from from uh, from some friends. And I really wanted to to have the boat ready, uh, so I actually made us paint the boat with these uh, small rolls. And it was great because uh, I planned to use one one gallon of anti-fouling for for one layer, and it actually worked. It was like the the last bit of the of the uh, can that we used for the for covering the last bit of uh, of boat. And that was that was really good. So now Carl is standing there. Um, he's black now, and I think he looks pretty cool. I mean, at least on the bottom. Uh, and it's it's he's he's ready to go back into the water. But more about that next week.